The Jazz, on the other hand, are thriving now that they have all their parts in place. Utah tipped off riding a seven-game win spree, which included 50% shooting and 25 assists a game for that team. During the streak, Darren Williams has handed out 83 assists, committed just 19 turnovers. That's a 4-to-1 ratio. He's had double-digit assists in each game during the streak, which they tried to extend at Golden State. There's Darren Williams himself finding Mehmet Okor for the dunk. Williams again to Okor. You get the idea as Williams is just distributing all around. How good is this guy? Along with Chris Paul and Tony Parker, the top point guards in the game. Keeps his dribble alive, puts you on skates, mm. shake and bake. Oh, my goodness. That's a tremendous move. Finds Okor to close out the half. Williams had 11 helpers at the break. He finds Ronnie Brewer in the third as it just keeps on rolling, this Jazz team so good at playing together. Williams driving the bus, finds Carlos Boozer on the run. How great is it to have him back? Williams, 16 assists through three quarters. More Williams in the fourth. Kyle Korver's locked and loaded for three. That's Williams' 18th assist. Williams to Paul Millsap running the floor, 19. Williams to AK47, who gets him his... 20th assist of the night. Jazz up seven. Williams going to, you know what, it's okay to keep one for yourself now and then. And he's a scorer as well. He only had six points. Jazz win at 112-104. That is eight in a row for them for a team that is steadily climbing up through the Western Conference standings. They could wind up winning their division when it's all said and done. Come playoff time, how dangerous is this team? Over six weeks ago on this show, the Jazz were in ninth place in the Western Conference. I distinctly said the two teams that I feel like they're best in the Western Conference are the Los Angeles Lakers and the Utah Jazz. Led by Darren Williams, as you just saw on that tape, he could get wherever he needs to get on the basketball court. They lead the NBA in assists, and they play a playoff style. They have depth up front. Some of the best front line play in the NBA when you talk about Paul Millsap, Carlos Boozer, Andre Karolinko, Mehmet Okor, the depth up front along with the balance in the backcourt, and Jerry Sloan on the sideline. Watch out for this Jazz team. Don't dislocate your shoulder patting yourself on the back there, <laughs> all right, fella? 36 assists, by the way, for the Jazz, who are now just two games back of the Nuggets in the division. A long way to go there.